Okay, so we got problem 28 in which we have an equilateral triangle with side length equals one unit. And there are three squares inside this equilateral triangle like in this position. As you can see, the blue square has side equals A, the green one has 2A and the gray one has 3A. And as you can see, these vertices, this one, the vertices of uh, the gray square and the vertices of this blue square are tangent to the sides of the equilateral triangle as you can see like this one okay now what if we are asked to work out side a which is the side of the blue square this problem is inspired by the stock exchange.com in the solution as you can see square does have all sides equal in length okay like if you focus on the blue square if one side of the square is a that means all other three sides are also a just like that okay if the green one has side equals 2a that means the other sides are also 2a like in this position okay and in the gray one if one side is 3a that means the other sides are also 3a now if you are familiar with an equilateral triangle the internal angle of an equilateral triangle is always 60 degrees and then i'm gonna focus on this small right angle triangle and i'm gonna call the base of it is x all right and then as you can see this small triangle which is at the left hand side and this large triangle which is at the right hand side of this equilateral triangle are similar by the angle angle and angle because these both triangles have 60 60 90 90 and the remaining one this angle and date angle are also the same so that means these both triangles are the same are these both are similar triangles so if these both triangles are similar and the base of this small triangle is x which is related to a or 1a and as you can see over here we have 3a that means the base of this triangle must be 3x just like that okay now the total side of this equilateral triangle is only one unit okay that means we have x plus a plus 2a plus 3a plus 3x equals 1 now further you can also simplify this like you can say 4x plus 6a equals 1 okay as you can see we have 4x over here 3x plus x equals 4x plus and a plus 2a plus 3a these guys are 6a and that is equal 1 all right now the next thing i'm gonna do is to work out the video of x over here because we are working for the video of a okay and we can do it of course by the trigonometric ratios by looking into these both triangles the triangle which is this one and the triangle which is this one okay all right so i'm gonna look for the triangle this one which has base equals 3x all right and the tangent of that angle which is 60 degrees must be the perpendicular which is 3a divided by the base which is 3x and 3 3 cross each other so of course tangent 60 must be a by x okay and tangent 60 that is of course square root 3 okay so square root 3 equals a by x and if we do cross multiplication per date we can get of course the video of x equals a by square root 3 and we can put that video in this equation 4x plus 6a equals 1 just like in date form okay and that's so simple now if we simplify this little more like uh, the these uh, digits are these fraction can be converted into decimals like in this form 2.309a plus 6a equals 1 and then add these a's which are 8.309a equals 1 and we can divide of course both sides by 8.309 so we can get the video of a equals 0 0.12 blah 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 like that okay so that's it that's the video of a so uh nothing else you're gonna wait for problem 29 thank you dears for watching see you next time